Yeah, right there. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey, everybody. I'm Sam. I'm Adam. And I'm Will. And we are... Working Title! Tatake! Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> Ready to fuck up some Marley and Sonics. Absolutely. We are back. It is that time. Attack on Titan. Season 4. Part 2. Episode 1 or episode 17? Judgment. Judgment. Welcome back, everybody. It's yeah. been four months for us, mm -hmm. like eight months for you. It's time, it's go time. Reiner versus Aaron, what we've been all waiting for. Last on, Yelena revealed the plan to all our friends. Some of us have been infected by Zeke's Titan Serum. Um, Falco is down for the count. Many people have turned to become Jaegerists. Uh, Marley is inbound. Porco and Peak attacking Aaron. Failed attempt. Reiner is about to jump. Fighting our boy. <laughs> A little girl showed up. Yeah. Probably Ymir. Yeah. So things might get really sci-fi and it's going to be freaking awesome. Guys, how are we feeling right now? I'm so excited. I'm very nervous. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm so scared of what's going to happen Same. this episode. It has been a lot of pacing around the room today. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you enjoy our video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when we drop the next AOT reaction. Comment down below what you think about our reaction, what you thought about the episode, and if you're a manga reader, do not spoil it for us and any other anime-only people watching. Yeah, I know you guys think we cheat. We don't. We so don't. do we not read spoil it. We don't read I mean, the manga. manga. Yeah. We don't read it. And if we get close to a th something that you think's accurate... Don't tell us. Don't Shut confirm up. it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You can talk spoilers if you put spoiler, dash, 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 go to town. Yeah. And if you're even a kind person, do the same thing and put lies, okay? Yeah. yeah. Do that. We like that. <laughs> True. And if you guys want to support the channel in more ways than just subscribing, we have a Patreon. The link's in the description. You can see some stuff we're watching right now. And hey, some more AOT stuff will come later this month. So if you want to get some exclusive content, check it out over there. Mm -hmm. Not a market substitute. Go on whatever anime streaming service you prefer. Watch AOT over there first. Come back to YouTube. Watch your boy's reaction, right? We're going to punch it. Bah! We should change that. You ready? We're going to do that one more time. Tatake. Bah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Come down, Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Pause it, pause it, pause it. We are also going to watch the opening one time, like we did for End of Season 3, Part 1. We're going to watch it one time. People in our Discord and, and comments and other videos have said it's going to be a spoiler. We're going to watch it one time. No pausing. That's it. If you don't like it, sorry. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta, oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. ゲームにやったかしらねえけど、今に一番の興味が強い。おお、マイ、シャットファックアップ。ファック。ああ、ゲームに突入し込んでおる。死んでいる。試験通りから来そうな感じ。ああ、ゲームに突入し込んでおる
He looks younger. Oh, well, she took him. He's alive. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He's alive. He's probably like on the fucking verge of death. Yeah. His fingers look like they came off. No, you got on this time. Walk away. It was that girl. Whoa. What? What? What, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> This is like where Ymir was. Yeah, right? I feel like years passed. The paths leading to coordinate. Yeah, like, can we get him some pants? Like what? Yeah, he's on another plane. Feel he says, "Bare ass, let's go." Oh, let's go. I don't care, I want it! The rumbling! <laughs> Bring it! Oh my! <laughs> Whoa! Dude, she's got turret! <laughs> Annie? Yeah, of course she's back. Come on, baby. Oh, that's everybody from the beginning. Aww. Aww. What the fuck was that? What? Uh, sorry, my mind's There was a water. giant structure there. Fuck. Can we watch it again? I know, seriously, no, yes. I not, want to. Damn no, it. I'm not watching it again. Damn. Not, not Describe it to me later. Oh, God. I wonder what that is. Yeah, of course. It's begun. <laughs> Please, please. <laughs> Damn. Good I lord. Caliber, like yeah. sniper rifles. Oh, that's gotta be for what is uh, it? the cart yes. titan. Oh, yeah, that's the, back, the, the back strap? Yeah. Holy shit, it's an air raid. Dude. What's <laughs> up? Cut him loose. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that thing moving. Cart's gonna try and go. Ah. Toe and toe. Oh no, I'm just dipping out. She's gotta get the, the tank. Oh, it's so ugly. Yes, it is. Dude, he's gonna put the dukes up. There's uh -huh. no way. He's got three titans in him, girl. Yeah. yeah. Running's never been Aaron's style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's for better. Dude, look at his fucking forearms. Yeah, it's their like arm. They're armored. Yeah. Eyes. Oh god. Oh dude. god. He's in mid air. Does he have a screaming effect too? Oh, or there's. No? Oh, he's walking right towards Reiner. No. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Ooh. Let's go! <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> For the hell Commander Magus. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Where's my brother at? What's his name? Colt. 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 
She paid attention. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Imagine if that has the artillery rounds that blew through Reiner's hand. Mm -hmm. The anti Titan. Yeah. Ride on it, yes. Oh, Maggot's up there. Let's go. Dude. He's holding the RB button, damn it. Yeah. Oh. oh, broke his face. Oh, oh. broke his jaw. Was this round three for them? Got to his fingers, yeah. his fingers. Are you sure about that? Whoa, okay. Say that again, Reiner. Yeah, what, what was that? <laughs> Oh Dang. god. He just Here comes Marley. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Peaks. Oh Christ. Oh, that's so gross. Yeah, you're right. Anti Titan. Nice. Oh yeah, he got a I forgot about that. Oh! Yeah, ain't no rockets this time. Yeah. Got to prep better. Jesus. We're surrounded. Cause I got 30 million soldiers. Thought you did your math. Well, he's still cognitive. Oh, oh my God! You were saying still cognitive? Is he gonna stab him with that? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Joust that fool. Dude, what if Aaron's not here anymore? He's in the crystal, right? Exactly. He's, yeah. the He's got the underground. Right? Can he do that after transforming? Probably. Hey, yo, Colossal, we need you. Go on, Capone. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we gonna do if we help them? Annie, Annie, get Annie. Yeah, third party, this shit. <clears throat> no. She's still holding on to her skull. Yeah, I was about to say that. Oh my Let's god. Go. No. Because of her programming. Yeah. She's a robot. Winter soldier. Mm. I agree. You think? Mm. Bro, I don't know what he yeah, wants. Yeah, that's the thing. None so of us do. He doesn't say anything. That's true. Zeke has no control what happened. So he wants it to happen? The rumbling? The A small version of it? Rumbling, rumbling's just using the colossal titans. It's not euthanizing everybody, or, you know, sterilizing, whatever. They're destroying the city. I'm waiting for him to like snap in. Damn. Dude, that was so fast! Oh, Bird of the cage. Yeah. That's like what I saw cool. earlier in the intro. Whoa. Good call with that. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my. That's his house. Whoa. Wow. That's beautiful. He disappeared! He disappeared! No, 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 no! Just trying to fit My it. heart's over here. Wrong size, sorry. Just grabbing your boob. Yeah! My mind's like in like 10,000 different places right now. Yeah. It's really hard. To... You were you're quiet. You were zoned in. Dude. I just... I... For, okay, first off. Great, great uh, welcome first, back. Yeah. First episode mm -hmm. of season two. Or season four. Whatever. Part two. Part two. It's too many part season, season five. episodes. Whatever. I, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let's let's get surface level stuff out of the way. Titans look fucking amazing. Yes, they do. Um, animation looks just as mm -hmm. good. You know, I, I, we didn't watch it live. C clearly, you all know this because we watched it like four months ago, season four at least. So um, we didn't get the you know, oh, some stuff looked unfinished. You know what I mean? Like we watched basically. I know some people said to watch some Blu-ray stuff for certain things. Yeah, but, like everything looks like looked pretty finished when we watched it, and this feels the same way. I mean, like yeah. everything was like spot on. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Literally picked up right where it left off. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Too. Yeah, there was no way to not. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, I can see why. You know how people were all, like, all commenting, like, you'd be happy that this was where the cliffhanger was because, like, from now on out, there's not going to be a good cliffhanger. I can see that. I mean, like the very the very first thing we got was seeing Levi, 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 Zeke, and like Ymir. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, that's, that's a year, right? We all yeah. feel like it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's gotta okay. be. So I guess I can see why. Because yeah. it's we're getting to crazy town. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. I love this premiere so much. Yeah, <laughs> very, very excellent. I'm also, it's all, I'm like, this is like my Star Wars, like, uh, I will not have criticism for the rest of this show. I, I, <laughs> I don't care if it's not a good ending, I will love it. <laughs> it's like, I'm already on that level where it's like, I will probably find a way to justify everything a cartoon thrones for you sure yeah mm -hmm. well i mean i'll say this though there's a difference though like not to bring up game of thrones because we'll stay in the show but i feel like that was like an ending that just wasn't executed well yeah the and story this was battle the, planned the, out. The, the story could have been perfect and, and when the book finishes for game of thrones it could be perfect but like 
I would imagine, regardless, I mean, like, we know people have said, like, like some some people in our Discord were saying that they're already, like, hate reviewing, like, the first episode. Like, this episode on IMDb had a shit ton of one stars because people are just hate reviewing because they hate how the manga ended last year. Oh. I will fight you. I'm telling you this. <laughs> yeah, right like. Now. Buzz off. It, here's the thing at the end of the day like there's a difference between having an ending that you like like yeah would we all love that Mikasa and Aaron get, and we don't know the ending I'm just saying but like just trying to pin picture the perfect yeah. world Mikasa and Aaron fall in love and have children yes. Yes. society is accepted the Eldians all love each other and love humans somehow they've <laughs> that cured, Adam's ending yes yeah, Adam's that's my ending. ending Adam's ending somehow they've, but, they've cured all titans you know what I mean like uh, you know like yes that would be the ideal ending a little rumbling Oh, maybe a little rumbling just yeah. for the for the, for the, the visual effect. Whatever, like yeah. those are things that we can all like say that we want at the end of the day. But it's anime. Animes have shit endings, and it's it's but Yama's it, choice it, to do whatever he wants. Yeah, exactly. To make whatever he wants yeah. in the story. So like, I'm just hoping that it's executed well. Like, if we get in the next episode, like let's say it was they, let's say they said fuck it, we're doing six episodes, and they wrapped up all this story in six episodes, and it just didn't make sense, and then it just Aaron just ends it, and he's like fuck it, you know whatever was gonna happen, we don't know what the ending's gonna be. But they did something like that, I would be like, this is bullshit, this sucks. Mm-hmm. But I have faith. That it's going to end well. And if you don't like the manga ending and you don't like it, whatever. Don't ruin it for other people is really yeah. what I want to say yeah. at the end of the day. And we don't know, again, we have not read... I will yeah, say this every fucking video because people comment it all the time and it's fucking annoying. We have not read the manga. We don't read spoilers. We no. don't go through and watch YouTube videos where people make theories themselves and we try and regurgitate. Like, it's not us. Half the time we're wrong and we just sit here and bullshit. So... We well, haven't read the manga. So we, have, we have a Discord. <laughs> I don't even read the Attack on Titan or the Attack on Titan spoiler threads. The good news I just is, don't read them. The good news is everybody who's made it to this point are the ones who don't say that. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying if there's a chance of you're like, well, these fucking guys had to know. Yeah. There you go. But anyways, back to the show. Long story short, I'm on Cloud9. This was a same. great intro. Yes, it was. Uh, where are you? Are you? I'm assuming same. I want to know more about what Zeke went through, man. Yeah. Can we talk about that? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, so got, started. Yeah, let's, let's get through. Let's yeah. walk through all the episodes. Ah. So, first off. Okay. Levi's, Levi, Levi's not dead. I'm right? convinced I would, he's not. I would imagine. He looks pretty dead. By the way that she's saying that he's not dead. But for all intents and purposes, and I hate when people say that phrase. <laughs> He's dead. Like, he, yeah. he's not moving. He looks lifeless in the eyes. Maybe he, his heart's still beating, and, you know, Han, you know, Hanji's being like, maybe we can save him, maybe we can do something, maybe I can get him to a safe place and get him to chill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, but, dude probably, yeah. I mean, we didn't see exactly, but he had, like, wood chips in his face. Yes. His, his fingers were definitely blown off. Yeah. Like... I, we didn't see the rest of his body. We didn't it was see just his lower, torso yeah, up. We didn't see what the lower half looked like. His lower half... I thought that it, at the end of last season, it looked like his le- one of his legs got blown off. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So It was hard because Zeke was there too. So, yeah, and so he, he, was missing everything. he was missing everything below the belly button. Yeah. So it could be that she, when she like, confirmed that he died immediately, she maybe felt heart pulse or something or, he or might like his breath or something yeah. he feels breath and it was slight and then just jump. I mean she jumped in the water yeah, which means left the, yeah. she wants the body Yeah, and you don't want you can leave a corpse behind so Levi's probably on the edge yeah oh boy okay and then that I, sucks though cause that even yeah. if he is alive it doesn't he if, do? if he's missing a leg and hands we saw fingers with the sword dude was crippled for a whole season because of yeah. cracking his toe against Annie <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, like, I mean, he's essentially just going to be bedridden at this point if he's alive. Yeah. Which is better than a dead Levi. I was, I was like, dude, we can't, this, is, this can't be the way we start with Levi being dead. There's yeah. There's no way. Um, so, Zeke, Zeke, on the other hand, is perfectly oh, fine. Oh, does he not look younger? He probably... He looks See, that's younger. The, that's the weird thing. Zeke, I'm just now putting in, like, the X category for, like, you know... Because we talked about it, I think, on Discord, um, about Yuri, uh, Rod Reese's daughter, br- brother. How oh. he got the gray hair, and yeah. how, like, in the anime, Zeke, apparently in the manga, was supposed to have My gray boy. hair, showing yeah. that he's, like, old. Like, when that last year kicks in, you, like, start to really de-age. They didn't do it for the show, but he definitely looked older. But, yeah, I'd, I'd agree, like, maybe... Either one, he's the exception because he's king blood, or two. Well, Yuri was king blood, but it's just hard to tell because at the end of the day, when we when we were first introduced to him, when he sat on the wall in season two, 
you know, outside of the Titan form. <clears throat> he looked old as fuck then. Yes, too. he did. And granted, that was three years ago. <clears throat> yeah. But, like, he just looks old, so it's kind of hard to tell. I always thought but, he had wrinkles under his eyes, too. Well, some of it, too, is just like... I don't think he ever had, like, wrinkles, wrinkles, but I think some of it, too, is just, like, the way they draw the character. I think, if anything, it's signified that he is, like, healed. Because he looked like... You know, at, when Levi had him in the cart at the end of last season with the, with the Thunder Spear in his stomach... He just cut his legs off. He, he literally looked like he was, like beaten to a pulp. Yeah. Where now he looks like refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready. Like, I mean, you know, he's walking around butt naked like it's no problem. Yeah. You know? And he also kind of looks enlightened a bit. Like... Yeah. I was gonna... When you were experience. you were saying that he was healed, I, I was gonna say he looks like he was reborn. Yeah. That too. Yeah. I mean, he was, really. Yeah. I mean, he was dead. Yeah. Uh, for all intents and purposes, he was, like, dead in my opinion. His body was mm-hmm. gone, and you can't live through that. what he was last episode. Like, he was missing every vital organ to continue life. Yeah. I mean, he can't do the Darth Maul and live off of belly button missing, everything down below, gone. Yeah. I mean, the Titans just uh, continually regenerate. Oh, That's that the is, thing. That you gotta remember. Mm-hmm. He, they do. He could... He, was, he wasn't actually dead, but he was... The, the gunky goo, faster. the yes. gunky goo keeps him alive. The Reiner juice that flows to his kneecaps when he gets stabbed through the oh, head. remember the spinal fluid? It's that stuff. Yeah, it's whatever the alien gunk is. But um, so we flashed over to the, the Titan that was he was in the stomach of. Yes, and steam when they was coming in. when they showed up, steam was coming in, and the body like. The flesh went away. The skeleton was still there, and he crawled out like he was absorbed. Fine. It. Like yeah, like he absorbed, like you said, absorbed the life force yeah. of it. Full metal alchemist. Mm-hmm. That's all I was thinking when I was watching that. Literally, <laughs> he like transmutated the the, t- oh. the, the body into mm-hmm. his own, get like yeah. transferred over. And he saw Ymir, and he was in the same place where Ymir, our, our, our Ymir. Ymir, which like I was always confused by that if Ymir was. Like in like in season two when Ymir Historia's friend wakes up, like I always felt like she woke up in the sand, like you know she woke up in that desert land on in that desert land, and she woke up after no it wasn't on the island it was uh, or I mean it was it was on Paradise Island but she She ran for sixty years yeah she ran for sixty years fell asleep, ate um ate Marco. Mm. Or not yeah. Marco. Was that his name? Porco's brother? Porco's brother. Yeah. yeah Whatever. We, yeah. Gall- Gallier 2.0. She ate him and then f- fucked off somewhere and went away. Mm-hmm. And then she wakes up in the sand like she's like this renewed person and sees like the, the paths, yeah. to the coordinate, to, or the paths to the coordinate, whatever that means. I always assumed that she actually woke up in the sand and then was looking at like just visualizing seeing what was going on. But now I'm curious as if like she just went somewhere, mm-hmm. like spiritually. You yeah. know what I mean? Plane like, of oblivion. Yeah, like where whatever this in between world that Ymir exists, the the Ymir, the founding Ymir exists. Like was she there as well? Regardless, Zeke was there with the girl, and she was padding him with this clay soil and, and soil yeah. and making his body like she was God. Yeah, did you see that? He was missing this leg yeah. as she was making this leg. From it ash, was whole from ash from made to ash we will return kind of yeah. spiel. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's uh like a I don't know just another dimension. I don't know what the hell it is. Another mental a me- state, a mental realm yeah. that you channel into. It could. I mean. Ymir was able to get there to somehow when she. Our historian. Sorry, Ymir. yeah, it's hard. Well, that, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, do we think that she actually was there, or do we think she was like? Because, like I said, I always perceived that in she woke up and just saw the lights, but was in like in a, in desert. real life. So she wasn't where Zeke is, is what you're thinking. Like it just resembled. And she was able to see the sky. No, I, that's my question, or what you guys think, because I always assumed she was in a real life place. If if it is the same thing as Zeke, it feels like it would have had to be ordained. Yeah, that this event feels ordained. Like no one's experienced this, or at least has has memory of this kind of event. And all our main characters who are Titans, you would think, have the same experience, right? Yeah. Well, that's weird though. Zeke's already the Titan. 
This isn't like he's becoming the Titan. Like right. Amir became. The she, that's what I was gonna ask him. Did he? Did he eat the the cart? Did she eat the cart Titan and then she saw that, or did she see it before that? She but then that doesn't make any Jaw sense. Titan, she saw it after the fact. Okay. This is after she attacked Reiner, Bertold, Annie, and Mark. Maybe it, okay. This but, is dumb. Maybe it's as simple as her name's Ymir, and it's like a res, a common respect. Maybe she was. Able, this is so dumb, but like maybe she was like granted the ability to see just for a moment to like feel feel free because her name I don't know yeah. her name's Ymir she had a bad life maybe because we're, we're supposed to treat the little girl as like a god so may, I mean gods can have favorites depending yeah. on your lore well that's what I was going to say or I was going to ask you guys like do you think that this moment with Zeke because you said mm-hmm. it almost felt preordained is this a, a situation of like this was always going to happen to Zeke or do you think this is a situation where goddess Ymir has stepped in to intervene Mm. to continue whatever is going on. Okay, well, if that's the case, then, I wonder if, like, things have not changed. Because everything has seemed in this show, like, it's... This show seems like it's more fate-based than free will-based. But which all, is like the, uh, but the whole conversation, irony. yeah, the whole conversation has been like I, like even Aaron last season, like I'm free, you're not because you're Ackerman, you're not because you're like listening to Baratold in your head, you know what yeah. I mean? Like this whole like free will thing and like being free and the bird in the cage yeah. and all this stuff. Have we yeah. seen? That's where my mind's well, been. Well, this the show's gonna be like a really. Happened. This show's go- okay. The term I use way too often <clears> this <throat> month. Existential. This show is going to be a very existential season. I'm sorry. I, I will try to not use that word a lot <laughs> outside the show. I've been using it insane because it's, it's just a season of life, whatever. Yeah. But it's going to be that kind of it, it, the show we're going to be dealing with right now because yeah. all that, everything from like the last three episodes of season three, all that owl shit where Aaron's like channeling into that Aaron Cougar and Cougar is affecting him and he's affecting. Kruger, it's gonna be that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that, that's where I, the show, that's why I felt like the show, the l- laws of this world is fate based and you can't escape your fate. Yeah. And that's why I said when he laughed during Sasha, it was like a confirmation to see mm-hmm. that he had already seen the event. Yeah. And he's, he's laughing because he couldn't escape it kind of shit. <clears throat> yeah. If I- that's true, then was Zeke supposed to have had a different life and Ymir just intervened right now? Or is Ymir intervening what's supposed to happen? Well, that's... that's just, God's jumping in and changing the fate a bit. Well, that's what I just feel like is going on, is that everyone... I guess it's kind of hard, too, because of seeing that end credit. We, like I said, we watched end credit opening one time, that's it. But the end credit with the, the bird in the cage mm-hmm. thing, which is like a reference we've had a couple times in the show, and it's like... It's almost like a perceived freedom. Like, they, they, like, Aaron thinks that he's free and he lives without outside the realms of, like, law and, and, and rule of this world because he can do what he wants yeah. in a sense. But yeah. in reality, he is just still guided and held within the same constraints. So I, that's where I wonder if every Titan. Because even bringing up, like, Aaron said it with, like, oh, you're just being controlled by Baratold. And then all the stuff with Aaron Kruger to Grisha, to Grisha to Aaron Yeager, like, being influenced and controlled and, do, you know what I mean, going and doing these things, it feels like this is all something that's predestined to be, whether you want it or not. And it... Ah, I would I would say that the Ymir popping in right there damn near confirms that everything that's happening from a Titan shifter perspective is being at least influenced by Ymir to the point where they think that they're making their own decisions, but mm-hmm. they're not. Yeah. Okay, I guess well I I guess the big question of the day is is Ymir a god? Or is she just a girl who stumbled upon something Some like power. all the history says? Yeah. Which we still Still don't know. We still don't and know. And if, if it is that she's not a god, why is she able to influence things the way yeah. she's influencing? I'm curious. They didn't show her eyes. I'm wondering if she's blind. Or is it that... Okay. Or it could be that Ymir has the ability to visit anyone. She can visit Armin. She can visit Eren because she is all the nine titans. Just like Kruger mm-hmm. can affect Eren or Grisha can affect Eren and Beartold can affect Armin. And whoever came before Annie can affect Annie. 
Can Ymir just spread to any of the nine she chooses because she I is think. all of them? Well, that, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I'm thinking at this yeah. point is that we just have a, the only thing that's hard is that Aaron has the founding titan which we haven't seen her we haven't seen her interact with anyone but Zeke but Aaron has the founding and Zeke is of royal blood so you would think that if anything she can directly affect those that. two yeah. but I, my gut is leaning more so that she could affect the nine we just haven't seen <clears throat> in a practical way that how that has actually happened at this moment well, then, here's what I think Ymir should do I think to tell her what to do for her show. I think yeah, I'm gonna tell Ymir what she has to do. You gotta get your ass in line. You gotta find Hanji. You gotta tell no. You gotta get. You gotta tell Armin to go capture one of the carts or the jaw. Feed it to Levi. Yeah. Mold Levi's body back and get his ass in line to stop the rumbling. So if they want to do the rumbling, Levi can kick all the colossal's say, asses. Didn't Ackerman. we? Didn't we figure out? Or didn't some? Didn't we figure out some oh, point that Ackerman's can't? Well, Ackermans are Eldians, but they can't do, like... They can't titan become shift. Titans. They can't Titan shift. Is uh, Mika says one parent Eldian? Or no, one no she's Asian. half. Her parent's Asian, and then the other parent's Ackerman. Is the Kenny side of the family Eldian? No, that's no. an Ackerman. Ackerman. They're, I mean, they are Eldian, but they're not... They're not titan So her shift. Asian side of the family isn't it's Eldian Asian. either. No, no. Eldians are only, like, white people. Like... Okay. The, or these random white people. Alright. Whatever they are. Um, frack. Well, that sucks. Sorry. Sorry, sorry Levi. Yeah. I guess Lee, Lee, uh, what's her name? Ymir's not going to be able to listen to me. No. Through the screen. Um, after that, yeah. Zeke said, we have to push forward like we always do, right, Aaron? And then we cut to our battle. What city are we in? I, can't, I always forget. This is Shigan. We're back to Shigan. 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 They, yeah. uh, they rebuild it in the four years. Gotcha. Yeah. Just for it to be ruined again. Of course, yeah. Of course, where it all started is where it yes. all ends once more. So, yeah. they're back in Shigan, China, mm -hmm. and the fight has begun. What were you going to say? Did Zeke, you like, did Zeke talk to Aaron in that moment? Is that what you're saying? No, no he, he, he just said he just keep moving forward right, Aaron. Do you think he's able to talk to Aaron through the Aether? I don't think I don't so. Think I, think, so. I, think, I think he's just monologuing okay he monologued in the forest that's why I wondered because I rewatched him versus Levi yes, the does. other day he and he talks he's, to himself that yeah. one's like cupping him in the hand and he's like Aaron I hope you know where we're meeting and it's like is he just monologuing because he's Zeke and he's he's like cool or is he like able to like telephone to him mentally or something like that I, I think it's just a, a monologue thing okay um, also just want to point out he doesn't know who that girl was who was molding him he didn't know who it was. Yeah, yeah he didn't. He say. said, I, "I don't know what happened, and some girl was molding me with soil." I don't know. I mean, it's Ymir for sure. I don't, do any yeah. of you remember? Did he have the Titan marks on his eyes? No, he was no. like clean as a baby. Uh, his story is Ymir had those markings when she woke up in the desert. But she so also just got like a Titan out of mental state, or it's that. Yeah, she just got out of her Titan. That was like that's why Will's question is good because like. Of whether or not she actually saw it is because she had what just emerged out of her 60 year old titan that yeah, has been stra strapped to her because remember she uh, and it was her first transformation she even had the shoulder things that armin had when he woke up from his first time ever so we're saying it's not a real place it's a mental state i think it's i th i think it could be both i don't know dude well i'll have to get it when they, 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 they are in a desert in fairness i will say it's i don't think it's important at all i'm just curious because it is another thing. Yeah, it's a good word, question. You know I mean, um, but Aaron and the battle between Reiner, Reiner uh, and Marley and Porco and Peak and Marley happened. Jaeger got their butts Asses, handed to them. Yeah. yeah, they've gotten destroyed big time. What? The Zeppelins <laughs> are equipped with Gatlin turrets. Every guy has like precision aim. Peak got that upgrade. Yeah. Giant artillery, like, artillery anti, rounds, anti titan, which is genius. Take the take the people from the sandlands, their equipment, and use it. Yeah, because they damn near killed Reiner in three shots. And Aaron's concussed. So, they said his motor skills are gone. Well, they said his motor skills were gone, and then they also Magath said. Um, the arm or the Warhammer Titan's ability takes a lot out of them. So mm -hmm. apparently, like, mm. it's like 
Because he kept using it. Like, it's your ultimate he spawned move. With spikes. Yeah. I mean, it's like using that Titan, you get worn out a lot faster than you would using the attack or whatever. So, I mean, if he had, because he has the Founding Titan, he might be able to do it for longer, but he does seem like he's kind of chilled out and been a little winded because he, yeah. hasn't, he hasn't moved and just been taking the hits. Yeah. Um, I think you two are right, though. I was going to say, I was like, he could just be underground with the body. Yes. Because we were all like... Would he have? Would he have had time to do that? Like to put himself underground? But remember, like Lara Tiber, she just like appeared out of nowhere. I, she was like standing on the side of the stage, mm-hmm. yeah. and then just randomly, she's like underground and above ground with her Titan form. Yeah. The only, the only tricky thing is like with that transformation, she was in the rubble, and it exploded upward, so she could have transformed down when it went up, and then it kind of roamed around. He transformed back into the castle and then ran down the streets without any little wire coming out of him so maybe and we don't know how it works yet because we haven't really seen the warhammer but maybe when he got shoved into the wall he like plummeted this guy through the neck down through the foot in the underground maybe if if it works like that could be something like that that'd be dope pre-planned you want to change the battery real quick be right back the other thing I was going to say too is uh all the spikes were coming from, like, the ground. Yes. Like, when he was fighting, like, there were spikes coming from, like, buildings and stuff, so I'm like, okay. Like, again, we don't really fully understand how the Warhammer Titan's ability works, so, like, you know. Lara did that, too. She also and, made the she, tree. And that's the thing. She was underground, so it came yeah. from her, but, like, we don't know if he's in yeah. his body. Can he, like, go down with the Warhammer Titan ability and then pop it up? And he you can know. still, he should still be able to, even if they find a cord... If he crystallizes himself, he can still do it from the crystal. Because Aaron was holding the crystal, and then she plummeted the tree through his stomach. So, yeah. um, but the jaw can crack through the crystal. Yeah, so that's why he's that's able not to great. cut through all of that. Yeah, he's probably like he needs to get the jaw. Yeah, he's the most threatening. dangerous. Yeah, th- yeah, threatening one to Aaron at yeah. this stage in the game. So, Reiner's nothing. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's getting Reiner's getting thrashed. None of them are really good to fight Aaron. I mean, the, right only, thing, the, the, only, the only thing that's helping him right now, or helping them, is Aaron being new to the Warhammer. And also he's 3v1, bro. Yeah. And it might be 5v1 soon, or 4v1, if we can get the Colossal out in the field and Annie. They didn't bring up Annie. I thought they were yeah. going to talk about Annie when Anya Capone went for them, but... I mean, but why would that... When you guys were saying that, like, oh, get Annie. Well, Annie's just going to fight for Marley anyways. Why would that matter for us? But she might not. Yeah. Like, she's why? been MIA for four years. I mean, well, we don't... She also doesn't seem... Well, remember, I also I also think of the OVAs a lot, and I don't know if they really count, but she didn't seem, like, overly fond of, like, Mar- like her group. And when we saw her in season four, she was like, Marley, uh, Eldia, whatever, they're all the same. They don't care about us. That's true. And she was the first one to be like, I'm going back, Reiner, sorry. That's true, but also, she's going to do whatever to, like, protect her own at this point, you know what I mean? So, I mean, unless Armin and them can be like, hello, and just lie to her and not tell her about the euthanization thing and be like, hey, Reiner and them are fighting us, we think they're bad, you want to join us? Like, I just don't see, like, how they're they're going to be able to convince Annie very quickly. Your dad's dead. Did he not get killed? He didn't get, killed. He didn't get killed. Okay. He didn't get killed, but he was with Miss Brow, yeah. Ron. But it could be as simple as, like, hey, you help us, we go back to Marley and protect your family. And or just take over. Or something. Or, Change the I mean, way like, honestly, of Marley. maybe not... Yelena's group, but maybe we can get our people and some Marley to work together. Well, how about Anya I don't Capone? think that's out of the realm because Magath, Magath is in charge of Marley. Yeah, the guy who's not really against Eldia, but more against peace for because that that's the difference. We've been dealing with Marley, the racist Marley that helps El, hates Eldia for like the past years of the show. But when Magath took over, him and Willie didn't. Willie was a little bit more kind of still hateful towards the Eldians. But Maggot didn't really care about that stuff. That's that's the difference. But but they still think that at the end of the day, if they 
lose the Titans. It's, I mean, it's like they lose their nukes. They yes. lose their only defense to the rest of the world to be oppressed. Like, yeah, I mean, I know Armin has this, like, idea, like, oh, maybe we can just work it out and be friends, you know? Like, that's what he had last season. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, what Anya Capone just said is we can't let them get a hold of Aaron and Zeke. And he wasn't saying them as in Yelena. He was talking about Marley when he was in yeah. the, at the cell with them. Like, that's what he was saying in that moment. Yeah. So, like, I just don't see... I mean, I'm sure they're going to come up with a plan. It's Armin. He's smart enough. They'll figure something out yeah. to do to at least help the Jaegerists, in a sense, till they can get a hold of Aaron. But even then, yeah. to bring up... To bring full circle, too. Armin is on the side of, you know, like, what we were kind of talking about last season. That Aaron was lying, in a sense, of, yes. you know, when he was... Telling Ackerman or telling I keep calling her Ackerman Mikasa that it's her only destiny. Reason, like it's her destiny because she's like a robot essentially, yeah. and Armin's just being controlled by Bertolt because he was going out of his way to say hurtful things to piss them off. Mm-hmm. Like why would you do that other than to push someone away from you from what you're doing? Unless that's Aaron trying to like dehumanize himself and break all ties to like make that decision. That he wouldn't want to do to hurt his friends. You know what I mean? It could be two things. It could be one, he's going to do something bad and he doesn't want them involved because it might be like a self sacrificial thing. Or two, he needs to kill everybody or kill everything. And he's like, well, I can't have any ties with my friends, so let me say horrible things so they hate yeah. me so I can just keep moving forward. But Armin seems to be under the impression that he thinks that. Aaron is still trying to do something super outrageous. That's why he's helping Zeke and them now. Uh, and didn't somebody ask what happens if we do help those two? Well, yeah, that's why somebody was like, well, what? Ha- what's the point of even helping him? They're trying to euthanize everybody. Yeah. yeah. And he was saying, Armin had said, well, Aaron at the end of the day is the one that has to make the choice. Like, that's why, he, that's why he accepted the, uh, that's what Armin's idea is, is that Aaron accepted Yelena and Zeke's terms because if he said no, they would just kill him or like. We don't know what they would have done. Yeah, they, we don't know or, what they would have yeah. done. But if Aaron. They remove him from any of the deep secrets yeah. that they yeah. share. But if they use if Aaron uses them which is what I was saying last season too and even before we recorded too I still kind of feel like Aaron is just using Zeke for whatever Aaron's ultimate plan is I'm not saying that Aaron's yeah. gonna do a good guy thing and yeah. make and do make a good choice I feel like he's still gonna do something pretty fucking bad mm-hmm. but I just don't feel like he's necessarily gonna go along with the euthanization thing but yeah. Armin and them are just being in my opinion naive to think that Aaron is still trying to be like really really good yeah, it's just it's just Zeke presents the window of multiple the opportunity, opportunities yeah. because of being king and because of having a titan, and the only other person that has that offering is Historia, which Aaron doesn't want to pass the ability to. Mm-hmm. So there's only two windows you can get that, unless the baby yes is an option too. I forgot about that. Because yeah. babies can, as far as we're aware, I'm pretty sure a baby can be born with it, which is crazy to think. I wonder if we will, like, see it, that ever manifest in the show, like... Because they said if one of them die and never passes it, it goes to an, uh, a, random, a random... Like an unborn baby. baby. Like, literally, a baby's, like, destined to have it. Yeah. What can a baby, like... like slits... <laughs> that's a horrible thing of, like, slitting a baby's hand and just get a baby version of the beast or something. Yeah, the only thing that's bad is how the hell you get it out of it. <laughs> how, do you, how cognitive... Is a baby titan. Yeah. A baby yeah. shifter titan. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. Oh, gosh, dude, I don't want that. I mean, that could, that's an option. There are three options for that scenario, because Aaron can't do it because he's not King's Blood. I mean, you know, but either way, he just needs Zeke. Like, Zeke and him could be like, yes, we are going to do euthanization. He just takes Zeke's hand, and Aaron makes the decision of what to actually do with the power. Okay. Because like, Zeke... Z- that's what they were saying in that episode is that Zeke doesn't actually have control of what is going to happen. Aaron would because he has the Founding Titan. Can Aaron do anything with the Founding Titan? Speaking it, of, it, well, I was just thinking because I said we only have three options, but it, can we do, a, like, they, they said the Founding Titan can shift people's genetic makeup. Can Aaron, if he finally taps into the Founding, oh, like, that, turn people into King's Blood and have all other options? Or is that the euthanization? I'm just saying, like, at some point at some point in life, there had to be, like, you are the blood of the king. Like, somebody had to make that decision, or somebody had to, like, be, like, this is what it's gonna be. But, like, if Aaron has that ability, can't he? 
Just oh, change or, someone's genetics. Or maybe he can do that. Maybe he can make other options if he touches Zeke. Maybe that's his goal is to like remove oh. Zeke from that ability, touch Zeke whenever the time comes, and give it to somebody else and completely rip Zeke of his power. Like that could that could, <laughs> but but why why wouldn't he have done it with the baseball scene? Yeah, yeah, because he could have just done know. it right then and there. I don't know. Well, and the other thing too is like I don't know because the idea that he can change their. Genetic their bodily code. their bodily makeup to make everybody sterile, like every single person. Why wouldn't there just be a way to like make everyone not able to be a Titan? <laughs> or make everybody yeah. Eldian. Yeah. <laughs> make everybody Titan capable. You wanna discriminate? Well you're the one who is just like that. <laughs> well, I mean as far as we know, they've described it as like he can do it to all Eldians, but it's like Anya Capone would be untouched. Like he can't control Anya Capone's body. Hmm. Okay, so maybe the real god of the world affected Ymir, and because Ymir was of Eldian descent, she was only able to affect her own people. Type. I really hope they give us like a solid like a what happened. I imagine since we saw Ymir that we will see what the devil, yeah, the devil, the, devil, the fruit, the gremlin, the whatever the fuck it got himself. Like who did this to Ymir? I hope we get some type of like backstory episode, like we did with Zeke. Just give us one episode on Ymir so we can figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. but back to very, very beginning. I think the visuals are really cool this episode. I think the hype's real. I don't really want to wait a week for more. Well, but you that, have to. That's how it's going to be. Um, for anyone who is listening, we are planning on watching the three OVAs that we missed, and that will be a Patreon-exclusive thing till the end of this show, so they won't be released until we're done this, and then they'll be inserted wherever chronologically they belong, so you'll be, like, seeing... <laughs> us now back in season one videos probably <laughs> yeah. but uh we'll be announcing that i don't know if we announce that at the beginning of this but stay tuned for that because that will be a thing that we're going to be doing in between to get our fill our uh, little drug fill of attack on titan is there anything else magath is going to be riding riding the cart He's also, gonna be a i wanted to bring up what his plan was his plan is to eat the founding titan have good. somebody eat it good luck yeah yeah i mean who porco it's like the worst person. Uh, I th- he was talking about a hero. I think he wants Reiner to be the one. Yeah. I think he wants Reiner to be the Look hero. Annie. The Helos. Annie's just like so MIA from that's, the, that's, the what, that's what I'm saying. As, we don't know if Annie's been conscious the whole time. Like If she can still hear and process and everything. Yeah. And Armin's been telling her, like, here's the story of what's yeah. happened over the course of the four years. Yeah, maybe. But if not, she's gonna wake up like it was season one, episode twenty five, and the whole oh, world has shifted. Like I so would much love has that. Changed. That'd be really funny too. Like as soon as they really like open it, she just starts sprinting back to Marley, screaming, "Where's Aaron? Ah, yeah. Bear, tell him where are you?" <laughs> um, what if she's been watching everything from like that astral plane with Ymir? Oh, she's just like hanging out yeah. in the sands. Yeah. that'd be cool. Watching, that'd be cool too. Yeah, but that's the thing, like. I would assume that realm is outside our realm, so you'd see the same type of people like Barrett told and Aaron Kruger and Yuri. All the previous users. All the people. And all them, yeah. um, and that'd be cool, too. And that that's kind of what I'm hoping, because it would kind of, like, unify all the seasons for its end chapter. I like when shows do that, like when you're able to find ways of, like, bringing reference to all the seasons to, like, close us out. It Kind of like a final report of what you've seen, and the way to do that is bring all those voice actors back and let the characters appear in some... I mean, this is the only way we'll probably see them. If they do come back, it will be through an astral plane, like mm-hmm. a freaking uh, Black, Black Panther, Panther, you know? Yeah. So that'd be cool, and I want that. But do, do we know if there's a movie? Are we getting a movie? I don't know. I if, you're, so if you're still around, let us know if a movie's coming out. Yeah. 12 I, to 16... 12 episodes in a 12 movie? 12 episodes. I really... Really, I, really don't want them to do it. Yeah, I don't movie. want a movie either. I just well, want we means we just have to wait. <laughs> means we have to avoid it like the plague. Yeah, but that's the thing. The manga, like the manga is already out and it's over. Granted, I know other manga like they end and the anime doesn't come out for like four years after, whatever. But like the manga's done, the story's out there. Just close it out with these twelve episodes. The only reason I would want a movie is if it was like a epilogue and it was just like a encapsulation of like what is the world now post the events of this. That's the only way I want a Modern movie, paradise. which is which is stupid. I I think that could be like a stupid movie. That like probably wouldn't be that interesting to most people. But I don't want us to end on a cliffhanger for the season. Then I have to wait six months for a movie to come out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait another three months for it to come out in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. I know it's like selfish, but it's just like. 
And then what? Like, also logistically for the channel, it's like, what are we going to, like, after wait for it to be done in theaters, then watch it so we can react to it? Like, bitch, I'm going to want to watch it in yeah. theaters the day it releases. <laughs> I want to be there in the crowd with everybody being like, I'm in Diego. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do a review yeah. and like let people miss out on the final chapter. That's of what I'm saying. No, Sneak in with no, no, no. These people Record did. Ourselves. These people have Sneak watched in. our reactions yeah. for the se- season one, which was back in 2014. So yeah, I know, but I'm talking about me personally wanting. To I, know, that long. I know. I know. Like I don't know if I want to do that, but yeah. So straight to straight to Funimation release. Funimation. Funimation. Movie. You pay, you pay, you pay thirty dollars, and you get the Black Widow on Disney Plus. You pay thirty dollars on Funimation, you get the fun, uh, Attack on Titan movie. They'd I'd pay for it. They probably strike our re- reaction down so fucking fast, and we would, we would lose so much content too. Yeah, because you can only show so much of the highlight reel. That's what I'm saying. Just don't do a movie. Don't do a movie. Just for the just for working titles' sake. That's <laughs> it. Literally, if, if I can speak to Ymir, I'm gonna speak to the writers. Don't do it. Please. Please. I'm a titan. I have some control. Um, yeah, that's about it for, for me. Favorite moment of the episode? Zeke with Ymir. Yeah. Butt-ass naked good. Zeke. Yeah. Yeah. The Damn, fight was fucking cool. Levi, but... man. Yeah. Fuck. That I thought is Adam great. was going to cry. I'm not going to lie. I was like, like, oof. Man. It was such uh, a don't you think that'd be a dirty way to kill off the fan favorite character? It was weird. You guys were saying dead, and I was just like he's in that state off, of like denial. He's where, technically like, killed off screen. If you really think about it, it wasn't a kill off screen. We saw him get exploded. Exploded, and then just the so next then episode, you, we saw. They did a fucking Negan. If they did that, I'd, I'd be a bit like, uh, like, not happy. Like I have a bad just, taste in my get, mouth. Well, you guys about are saying this. like dead, and I was like. I'm getting like soil in my mouth. Right yeah, now. Like, don't, it's a bad I, taste. No, I don't. I don't believe it. Yeah, like, I mean, like, if this is really true, a big state of denial. In fairness, there is no way that any way Levi is going to die that any of us are going to be happy. I don't want him to kill him. Simple as that. I get yeah. that, but like, I loved Irwin, but like, I could to the see, show. I could see Irwin dying, but like Levi. I don't know. There's something about Levi Ackerman that Irwin kind of, you died, can't kill him. Irwin died riding a horse. Granted, it was the, an ultimate sacrifice to then lead to Levi destroying the Beast Titan. But at the end of the day, he just died riding a horse. Yeah, but Levi's like a staple of the show. Yeah. Irwin. That's cool. <laughs> That's <laughs> like cool, Like when I people guess. buy t-shirts at wherever. They don't buy Irwin Smith. I mean, I would. I don't remember, man. But Is this show called Levi Ackerman on no, Titan? No, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Levi when people Ackerman buy shirts, it's Levi, Mikasa, and Aaron. My boy Irwin ain't making the list. Or the Wings of Freedom. But yeah. Intro and outro. Oh, yeah. Intro? Um, I loved it. To be honest, I don't really remember Dude, I loved oh, it. I remember. I feel like everything we saw in the intro, we got in the movie, uh, the first episode. Yeah, honestly, most yes. of it was like first episode stuff. There was probably two things I saw in it that I don't even want to bring up just because um, spoilery. But like, I'm trying to remember stuff like, that probably is going to happen by the end of the season. I, I mean, they should the 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 astral plane right in the intro. I don't remember. I don't remember. Damn. I just want to talk about the I fucking was, structure that I saw. Did you see it? The structure. It looked. It looked like a bird cage. And I thought you said spider. I don't know what it, it looked like, like like fuck, uh, like, like gates to Bruce Wayne's mansion. That that kind of old gothicy metal bars look. It, you, it was in Aaron's eyes. It was in like Aaron's eyes, and it looked like all the other Titans were in front of it too. Yeah, yeah I don't know. know what you're talking about. It happened so fast. Remember how we like watched season three, and like we were yeah. like we're gonna focus on everything, and yeah. then like ten seconds, and Will goes. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's I'm, I'm gone. My, my mind <laughs> went to like over focus and I lost all track of everything. That's what happened. You said, You see them? We go, I'm like over here, like, what? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? I saw, I saw, I think somebody stepped on a butterfly and like there's a yeah. footprint in the Yeah, there's a dead butterfly. And that's all I was looking at. And you're like, There is a cage, Sam. There's a cage. Yeah. What game? That's so funny. I remember when we watched that season three part two opener. It was like, all right, just focus because we're only gonna do it one time. I watched. I was like, dude, I don't know what we just. I don't yeah. even. Know. I still don't remember what it was. So we're skipping that. We're not gonna go back to that. No. What about outro? No. You think the outro was spoiling? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it looks like a rumbling happened. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like I can get what I want. I don't want to, I just don't want to look at it because I don't want my mind to go. Every like, episode, my mind's not going to, we're going to watch like, that at the end of every episode. I'm not going to be able to fucking Okay, well, like, what? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, about the intro that could be spoilery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remembered something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to bring it up. Damn it! Yeah, I really am, like, super unable to. I want to talk about it! No. Okay. No. 
Yeah. Damn it! Oh, oh I just remembered it. I don't want to know because I really don't know what you're talking about. Oh. But outro wise, I remember all the outro. It yeah. does look like I'm okay. I want the rumbling. I think that's like a cool thing to do. I know it's not a good thing, but I'm saying like spectacle wise, yes. what do you do for a show that you can do anything you want because it's animation? Uh, uh, well, okay, here here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's going to happen. We've been teased about the rumbling since they said that there were titans in the walls and the cr- and it cracked and there was a titan That's inside what I mean. of there. Yeah. Like it's going to happen. We're going to see it. Yes. Um and it's gonna be cool. And mm-hmm. It's gonna be awesome. But that's not like the bad. Like you keep saying, like, oh, that's the bad thing. No, the bad thing is like the possible like euthanization, genocide that's about yes. to happen. That's the part that's bad. He's just yeah. going, like, well, if, if the to be fair, the reason that I think of the rumbling every time is what Willie Tiber threatened: is Aaron would go and kill the world if he gets it. I don't think Aaron would do that. But that's when they talk about the rumbling. It's like. That'd be really cool if Aaron did decide to do that. But do you think that Aaron... Okay, but here's the thing. and this is what I love to be like, all right, throw all your chips in. Do you think Aaron is going to, with his powers, if he makes the choice, do you think he's going to kill all his own people? Or do you think he's going to kill everyone in the world except for Eldians? Everybody else. That's not Eldians. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's a hard, though, because I thought Eldians still exist outside of this world, but they're like enslaved camps other, everywhere else. Or are they only on this island? No, they are, they are around the world as well. Okay. Because Liberia, the city of Liberia. That's what I thought. Because I thought the little kid, the little glasses, Ida kid, you, you, what's his name? You know, Uda, 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 Uda. I thought he was saying like his family or he knows about camps that exist outside with other elements. Yeah, they, they said that. But and Ymir. Yeah, people yeah, like Ymir. I mean, are Ymir. So. I'm sure, I'm sure that, um, you know... Regardless, I don't know how logistically Aaron's going to be able to be like, hmm, I see a city, I see three Eldians over there, all right, big Colossals, go stomp on all those buildings over there. Like, maybe he can, maybe the Founding Titan has, like, some spidey sense where he can tell <laughs> who, who is who and what is their race. Maybe it's not but, even Aaron, maybe it's the Owl, or somebody else who's forcing him. It's Ymir. It's gotta be Or Aaron. it's Ymir. It's gotta be Aaron. Or it's Ymir who decides to take over and become the new-bodied Aaron. Yeah. Let's get out of here, dude. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Check out uh, our Patreon if you want to see some of our other shows. we got Full Metal Alchemist. we got The Witcher. Uh, we will be doing OVAs exclusive to Patreon until the end of this show. So if you want to check those out uh, within the next two, three months, whenever the show goes for, check them out and support us. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the premiere. And for the time being, we'll see you next week. Love you guys. Boom. Tut the K. Tut the K. Bow. Bow.